Hi, my name is Beth Massey and today I'm going to show you how you can set default values when adding new data to the system using Visual Studio LightSwitch. LightSwitch is a new development tool for building business applications for the desktop and the cloud. LightSwitch makes it easy to create data-centric rich internet applications. I already have an application open that we've been building in this video series. It's a simple order management system that allows us to work with customers and their orders. Let's run the application real quick and see what we have so far. So I'm going to go ahead and open a customer, which opens up their customer details screen. And then I'm going to click on this button here to open their open orders, which we created this screen in a previous video. This allows us to add the orders and the order details. Notice when I add an order detail line, the user has to specify the quantity, the price, and choose a product. What I want to do is I want to automatically set the quantity to one for any new order detail that's entered into the system. So let's see how we can set that default value. So I've got the order detail um, entity open here in the data designer. And what I want to do is I want to set this quantity uh, as a default value equal to one. You'll notice that um, we've got in our validation that we have a minimum value specified here as a validation rule. So if the user leaves that as a zero, the validation rule will fire and it will make sure that the user at least types a one in there. But instead what I want to do is I want to provide a default value so this is already set to one without having to have the user enter it themselves. So what we're going to do, we're just going to go to the right code here at the top of the designer and we're going to select the order detail created method. Now this method is going to run either on the client or the server wherever, anytime we create an order detail. Okay, so whether that's through a screen or through programmatically, this will fire. So this is your chance to set any of the default values on the order detail that you want. So it's really easy, just type me and you can see that here are all of the um, properties of the order detail. And I just want to set the quantity equal to 1. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this again. Hit F5, we'll build it, and we'll see what we have. Okay, so now when we open up the orders for a customer and we go ahead and add a new order detail you'll see there we go quantity is set as one so that's how you can set default values on any of your entities in the system to make it easier to, for users to enter their data thanks for watching